Hello and welcome to another episode of Isolation Premier League. I have with me today a young prodigy. Please welcome Jemima Rodrigo. Thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. I mean, yeah, that that, is- that's what we just discussed before this started. Now she has uh, insisted that I don't call her Jemima. Because you said that, now I'll call you GP. I'm with you. You sure? <laughs> Considering I am almost five years older than you. I lie. <laughs> five dozen, perhaps. <laughs> Though I think the correct pronunciation in Spanish is a Jemima Rodrigo. <laughs> yeah. That could be Italian. I don't know. <laughs> Janima, yes. you're a great prolific talent, always happy to see you and always happy to see your style. Talk to me about your style, you're like man, nothing can come in my way, right? I don't know like how that came to me but like from a very small age like my dad and uh, my brothers were always like into cricket so because of them I started cricket and they made sure like you know I have the right techniques how to grip the bat, stand in the stand. So literally when I started we used to like just stand in that stand for like 10 minutes just to get everything right but he didn't uh, teach you how to like defend deliveries <laughs> there's no fun in defending like ball likhne ka aur marne ka see ball hit ball <laughs> yeah best <laughs> today also i want to see if you can see ball hit ball because it's see question hit question mm-hmm. i've got 20 questions for you okay the questions are about you things you've done they are about some of your teammates some of your seniors they all love you. They treat you like the baby of the team, the little sister of the team. Who are you close with? Which are the relationships that that you forged over time that you really cherish? Uh, the closest I am to is Prithvi Mahana because we have been room partners like since the time I made my debut. Here's the question about her. It's not part of the. It's not okay. part of isolation Premier League. Then I'm not answering. Let me make this your free hit question. I'm going to ask okay. you right up front. We're changing the format. Your free hit question is coming okay. before the twenty. Okay. What is Smriti's Favorite snack food? Simple. Do you talk about this everywhere? I think in award shows also and even on Breakfast with Champions. Samba Bhel, right? Samba Bhel, what? <laughs> I had gone to Samli and I told her I need to try this Bhel because I've heard so much about it. So, yeah. How was it, boy? Uh, it was very yummy. Are you sure you're not just saying that because if you didn't like it, it's fine. You can say you didn't like it. <laughs> no, no, no. It was good. We will decide later whether I give you four or so that free hit. <laughs> so we're going to start with your power play and the power play, your six questions really quick are about the T20 World Cup, of course, the 2020 T20 World Cup. You ready? Yeah. In which city did India play more matches, Melbourne or Sydney? Melbourne. Absolutely right. Three in Melbourne, two in Sydney. Six runs. Good start. Good start. The final broke the record for the largest attendance hmm. for a women's cricket game. How many people were present at the I, MCG? I think 86,174. Did, did someone tell you? Is it right? Did no, no, no. It was a big news at that time. And like nobody, like all on social media, everywhere it was like 86,100. So I, it got stuck in my head, I think. So yeah. <laughs> let me just let me bow down to you. <laughs> I was going to give you like three, four thousand up down. You have got it right to the person. Yeah. Oh yes, well done, Jemmy. Correct, well done, Jemmy. Question three: The eighty-six thousand one hundred seventy-four people who were there, name <laughs> them. <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> Question three: Which two batters shared India's highest stand in the tournament? I think it would be Shifali and Smriti. No. Wait, wait, wait. I'll give you a clue. One okay, clue. okay. One clue on power plays allowed. My clue is self confidence. <laughs> okay. Me. Me and Dipti. You and Dipti Sharma is correct. Uh-huh. Absolutely right. For who was India's leading wicket taker in the tournament? Uh, Poonam Yadav. Poonam Yadav is right. Four out of four. Jesus, look at you go. Okay. <laughs> Which technology was introduced for the first time by ICC in the tournament? No, I don't have a clue. It's been talked about a lot in world cricket. A- any uh, hints? This is taking something out of the umpire's hand and giving it to the TV umpire. I don't know this. No? Okay, now I've given you two clues. I can't give you any more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was the front foot technology for noble calls. Oh, yeah, 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 right. You're not a bowler, no, so you don't care. <laughs> uh, okay, now this is a very interesting question. A video of you shaking a leg with the security personnel 
broke the internet basically right mm-hmm. ahead of which match who was your opposition did you engage in this dance off so i had done this dance after bangladesh new zealand is right it was before the new zealand, new zealand. game okay 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 Can you tell so us what do you know about this dance we won the match against bangladesh and i was just dancing like you know just after the match we won i was just dancing and then the security guard also started dancing my friend from bn she was taking a video so we were just dancing and then like she definitely danced better than me i mean her moves were better but i i think it came up pretty cool and i really i had not thought of posting it or putting it anywhere on social media suddenly after like during one match this one guy came from icc and he saying you know the video has gone viral i mean which video like the video with the security guard and who put it out <laughs> so you're like it's already got more than 2 million views and all i'm like what okay let's try to do a viral dance move like you okay here you ready <laughs> over here <laughs> well you've done well in your power play your 13 order at the end of your power play that's a good start that's a good start remember you already have the, the free hit that you played before the match began <laughs> you know how when you used to play gully cricket did you ever have the try ball yeah that was like before every game yeah and even if i would get even if i would get out i would still say no 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 try ball tha na you me and every person <laughs> i think <laughs> who have not done this are not true cricketers yeah they're not <laughs> okay this is uh, we were talking about social media and your dance off this question 7 which we beginning your middle overs mm-hmm. with is also about social media i think you'll remember this what hashtag did you use when you put out your first ever tweet <laughs> i don't remember it was very sweet and it was very obvious my first ever tweet that's the right answer yeah. that was the hashtag my first tweet <laughs> lol <laughs> Oh shit yeah I will give that to you that four runs well done thank but you for being so generous that was just amazing is it hello everyone i'm on twitter this is my official handle hashtag my first tweet <laughs> now question 8 which ground or town did you or city did you make your india debut so i made my india debut in t20s in south africa at porchester i'm so glad you gave the correct answer because i didn't know how to pronounce it <laughs> What is this room? Actually, we tried to figure it out a lot in the start. So the first person I went to was Shikha Devi because she knows like everything. Like we call her Shikipedia, like Wikipedia. So she's Shikipedia. <laughs> so I went to her and like, how do you pr- pronounce it? So I think it's that. If it's wrong, then she's gonna kill me. I think you should have gone up to uh, the team management and said, please let me make my debut in Durban or Johannesburg because I'm easier life. to remember. <laughs> But it is correct. You get four runs. Three teammates of yours also made their T20I debut in the same game. I remember this: uh, Pooja Vastakar, Tanya Bhatia, and Radha Yadav. That is amazing. Well done. Four runs. Okay. What record was made in your debut game? Okay. Uh, yeah, India first time chased 160. This is the highest score India chased. That's right. That India record, then yeah. highest successful chase. in yeah. uh, t20 T20s. well done well done yeah, excellent Thank now you. this is your explosive question about your explosive batting style okay so you're the only indian to have hit three consecutive sixes in three balls in a t20 hmm. international name the bowler is <laughs> again sri lanka and de silva giving a sri lanka answer is de silva is like a 50% chance of being <laughs> right anyway right no no i remember a name it's atham n uh, nilakshi Well done. That's a fifty. A fifty of eleven questions. Applause in the stadium. Eighty-six thousand one hundred seventy-five people. What do they sound like? <laughs> okay. Your highest score in both formats have come in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Tell me the venues. The first one was in the ODIs. That was at uh, uh, McLean Park. Eighty-one, not out. And the second one was in Auckland. I think that would be Eden Park. So Auckland and Napier, absolutely correct. It is 81 of 94 in the ODIs and 72 of 53 in the T20s. Well done, well done. Thank you. So you and Harleen Deol dedicated a rap video to Harman when South Africa visited India last year. What feat were you guys celebrating for this rap? Easy, this is Harry T's hundred T20 match. Too easy. Too easy. Yeah. Now the question comes to points. Three lines of the song. So it goes like this: 
नाम के पीछे कौर है लोग कहते इससे थौर है पंजाबियों की शान है ये लड़की शक्तिमान है कौर कौर मारती जब ये सिक्स जगह करती दिनों में फिक्स पब्लिक मचाती शोर है जब मारती हैरी को रहना देती कभी गाली ये सो मैच खेलने वाली ये पूरा करना सपना है वर्ल्ड कप अब तो अपना है कौर कौर क्योंकि नाम के पीछे कौर है लोग कहते इससे थौर है कौर कौर There you go. That's your four runs. <laughs> okay. Both the century stands that you've been part of in T20Is have come in the same venue. I'm not sure if it's Auckland or maybe wait Hamilton or Wellington. <laughs> I'll tell you, it is neither of the above. Oh shit! You got a bit of the information right. It was against New Zealand. Yeah. The one against New Zealand happened in the World T20 2018. Providence Stadium with Harry Dee, correct? So with Harry Dee was 134, 117 with Veda, and that 134 wala to I remember very clearly. That was uh, that was a brilliant. That was a special. My, my job was easy. Just rotate the strike, do three and say, just watch the ball sailing over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, right? I mean, that's batting with Harman. Yeah. And especially with Harman's in flow, you're just like boss. No, that's the thing you you should do actually. Whenever she's in that touch, I mean, the best thing you can do just rotate the strike, man. Don't go to do anything. We are able to get three sixes in an over. Basically, just take a single and get the best seat in the house. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> I remember Harman said to me once. She said, "Ke, wo jab main khelti thi to upar hi marti thi, niche mein upar hi maro na. When you're batting with someone like her, then do you also then feel like?" Right? If she can hit three, I can hit four. In that flow, it happens. You know, you want to watch it. They are hitting sixes. I can also hit sixes and all that. But it's important to you know stick to what suits you best and trying to be somebody else. Be the first you. Don't yeah. be second anybody else. True. And also let Harman take the air. You take the ground. <laughs> okay. So now tell me who was the top scorer in the 2019 T20 Challenge, the the women's IPL. Oh, uh, that was me. I'm happy that this one came with the self confidence I had <laughs> towards it. <laughs> you got 123 runs in 3 games and you were the player of the series. And uh, do you know who was the second on the list? Sruti? <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> right. Yeah, right. Okay. Here is your final question of the middle overs since we are talking so much about Sruti. You and Sruti have had how many century partnerships? I think 2. No, more more than that. Okay, three. <laughs> three, right? And now, of course, you guys have taken that partnership on to your own show, right? You guys have oh, your own yeah. show together. So yeah. tell us about that one. One night, actually, Smriti called me and she's like, "Why don't we start the show? Anyway, you keep irritating me on the phone. Why don't we irritate other people also, and we can get guests along?" And I'm like, "Chalo, let's do it." So that's how it all started. And it's called double troubles. We'll get to know a lot about uh, the bond me and Smriti uh, share, and also we'll be having guests and we'll you know getting to know them more and their struggles. We have already shot six episodes till now. Oh, six already? Yeah, already done it. Yeah. That's amazing because you guys are better producers than I am. <laughs> we only have your episode now. We'll put that out. Now we'll think. Oh, think we should make another one now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who were the first guests on your show? Jamie's bouncers. Oh, Julan Goswami and Shikha Pandey. Excellent. That is six runs. <laughs> okay, which Mumbai cricketer said this about you? She's fearless in her approach and believes in her abilities. I think uh no, uh, uh, it's Shreyas Iyer, I think. You think? No, no, I know. <laughs> I think you are Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So suddenly, I I get this notification that Shreya Sayar has tagged you. I'm like, what is Shreya Sayar tagged me? And I'm like, oh, he's doing a Q and A. And somebody had asked him, like, who is your favorite uh, female cricketer? So I'm like, okay. I have a visual question for you. I'm going to show you a picture. Okay. okay. Right. And you have to tell me who's this person with you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, Jalan Goswami. Jaladi, the cutest Santa I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, when I see this picture, like we all know she's tall. 
When I yeah. see this picture, you realize how tall she is. How tall she is. Or rather, how short I am. See, I was trying not to say that. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Tell me the story of this. For us, like Christmas is one of the biggest festivals. The previous night, I was actually missing home a lot. Smriti knew that. I was sad. She with Juludi and all, they got together and they made a plan. I didn't know the entire team is involved in this. So then they take me to this room and the entire team is like Merry Christmas. I couldn't believe it, you know, like it was very special and I actually got emotional. Then they took me towards the curtain. Like there was a curtain there and suddenly Juludi comes out of the curtain. I'm like, Juludi is <laughs> like that. <laughs> Juludi is like one of the coolest seniors. My first net session, I remember, I walked in and Juludi came up to me. She had already taken a bowling run-up. She left her run-up. She came up to me and she, she was like, congratulations. We are really proud of you and all that you've done. And that made me feel so good. Did you say, thank you Juludi? <laughs> yeah, I did. I really look up to you. In <laughs> like literally look up to you, yeah. I have one final question for you. Mm-hmm. Shami, are you ready? Yes. This is a who am I question, right? Okay, okay. But three clues. First clue was six runs. Second clue, if you ask for, becomes four. Third clue, if you ask for, becomes two runs. Okay? okay. Who am I? We've shared 150 partnership for India versus Australia. Just one partnership, right? Dipti Sharma? Should I tell you the second clue so then you'll know whether you're right okay, or not? Yeah. Tell yeah. me the second clue. Second clue is I took the catch for your first and only wicket in international cricket. Ah, Dipti Sharma. <laughs> it is absolutely <laughs> right. Sharma. Runs well done. Good yeah. job. Before I tell you your final score, mm-hmm. this was meant to be a free hit question, but now we changed it and we spoke about Samba Bhel. But I'm still going to ask you anyway because okay. I love this picture. This picture was taken at net 5. Oh yes. Yeah? I remember this. I don't think I should ask you any question. I should just say go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I got the opportunity like uh, to meet such and sir. I got so much confidence and you know, there's always a positivity speaking to him. He's played so much cricket and that too at a very young age and you know, just, just spending time and talking to him, you, you itself feel so positive. He has played international cricket for more years than you spent on earth. Yeah. It now makes you realize just <laughs> how long that is, right? It's insane. 24 years. Crazy. Yeah. But uh, by the way, you have to tell me what exactly he was saying to you at this point in time because I asked him, so I know the correct answer. Don't lie, you didn't ask him. <laughs> he did? Yeah. I don't know if it was that exact moment, but I'd asked this question to him. I also made my debut at a young age. You made it also at a very young age. So, how do you handle Because wherever you go, people are following you with cameras. So, how do you handle that? So, I don't know if it was that exact moment because we spoke a lot of things during that time. The exact moment actually what he told me was that he was pointing you to where his favourite Vada Pao stand is. <laughs> See? I knew you didn't know this. <laughs> Has Vada Pao been a part of your training while growing up, just like it was Sachin's? Uh, not uh, Vada Pao, but Bhaji Pao. Bhaji uh, Pao. Yeah, I love Bhaji Pao. Bhaji Pao is the uh, Pao sandwiches that Harbhajan Singh makes, right? <laughs> I'm going to call Bhaji after this and we are going to open Bhaji Pao. Bhaji Pao. <laughs> 50-50. So, Jenny, let me tell you, you finished with 90 runs in your stipulated 20. And you've got four runs from that free hit that you already hit. That means you have finished Isolation Premier League with 94 runs. Tanya! That's not bad, right? Very good. How does it feel to get 94? I mean, it feels so good because studying I couldn't get 94%, but at least in Isolation Premier League I got 94 So it's good. Okay. Is there. Any message you would like to give to all your fans at a time? I know it's tough, you can't you know, train really. You, I'm sure you want to go out and play cricket and do all those things. Yeah, firstly, I would like to say thank you to everyone who supported us, you know, especially during the World Cup. You know, we didn't expect like we would get that kind of support. Yes, during these times, I know it's difficult, but it's important that we follow what the government is telling us because that's for our own benefit at the end. Are you helping family with any household chores? Have you become better at any household chores? <laughs> One thing I've gotten better at is sleeping. Like I, I, <laughs> I don't the like sleeping. Of today, I tell you, the of today. <laughs> 
some cleaning, some utensils, some helping. Yeah, I, I, I did. No, 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 I do, but not that often. I cook for my brothers sometimes or make them tea or coffee and I vacuum clean the house. So that's good. See, that's good. <laughs> Listen, you're a youth icon. So it's very important to tell people that everybody must help their families at this time. Like even if it's the smallest thing, like that will be a big help to your mama and dada. So yeah. Oh, most importantly, before you go, do you want to message to Smriti or not? Because I'm going to have Smriti on the show soon. Smriti Mandana, try and defeat this score 94. I know your memory is bad. But I don't know, sometimes could Shamatkar ho jai and she might also get more than 94 but you know, I'll be praying that you'll get less than 94. Jamie, I'm very proud of you whenever we watch you bad. I really, really enjoy watching you bad and I'm Thank sure, you. I'm 100% sure that we're going to watch you bad for a long, long time. So, uh, just keep at it, keep your head down, keep going, we know we're going to expect lots of great things from you. Thank you so much, EK. Uncle. Uncle. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>